We're Cheska and Ben, and with our little pup River, we live and travel full time in our sprinter van, Sophia. After spending the first part of the year rebuilding her into a more capable overlanding rig, we're heading off onto Exmoor for our first few nights back on the road. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. Minehead. We are going to head into Exmoor properly tomorrow, but we're a little late leaving today, so we had to sort out our food and gas and everything. So we just pulled up here for the night. Okay, I'm just about to cook our first meal in the new van. Again, it feels like everything's like new, and I'm just like, okay. What do I do first? What do I put on first? But I'm making us a vegan carbonara of sorts using these bacon, bacon lardons from this. I love this brand. This and Future Farm are like our two favorite and our go-tos for like vegan meat replacements. But these actually literally taste like bacon lardons. They're amazing. So we're gonna have that. And yeah, that's about it. So we've got both hobs going. We have the Max Air fan on and there isn't any condensation on the windows whatsoever. Yeah, do you know what? And it's raining outside so it's cold and I would expect it to be a bit more misted up in here than it is, which is yeah, really, time, really good. Last time, <laughs> last time we were in here with our other crappy fan. The oh, the Fiamma fan. fan. Don't get it. <laughs> get the Max Air fan. Um, as soon as you start cooking, that's it. Pfft, condensation everywhere, but now... And this is just so nice and quiet, you barely notice it's on. Mm. <laughs> we are currently just having an Exmoor van inception. We're watching our friends Josh and Charlie, who are yeah. currently driving around the UK in their Vario camper van. I highly recommend you go and check them out. They're going to be visiting all 15 national parks in the UK this summer and vlogging the whole thing. So I'll put a link in the description to their channel. Um, they're awesome as well. Who would know that the UK had 15 national parks? I eh? know. Not me. The best one is by far Dartmoor. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm biased. Yeah, we're just about to watch their Exmoor one for some tips and tricks. And also because we love them. But also for tips and tricks. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so the pre-flight checks are getting faster, which is good. Yep. We are on our way up to Exmoor now. You ready with her? Well, I'm gonna have to wait behind this guy for a bit. As soon as he's just clearing out like the pipes. Where is it, River? We have made it up to Exmoor. We've got some sheep for company outside. River hasn't noticed them yet. We are going to try and hike up Dunkery Beacon today, which is, as far as I'm aware, the highest point on Exmoor. And we're actually parked up just beneath it. We pulled into a lay-by with the most amazing views out over the, is it the Bristol Channel? Yeah, that's, that's the Wales. The Bristol so. Channel, we can see over to Wales. It is absolutely stunning here. A bit windy though, but lovely. Very windy. Ben's just sawing on the Wi-Fi. I think we're going to have a bite of lunch and then we're going to go hiking. I say, just look at that view. I know. Hmm? It's a nice view, isn't it? 
so that's Wales over there, the Bristol Channel. And not too far behind me that way is the Quantock Hills where we went. If you watched us do a little bit of the Southwest last year, we had a beautiful night on the Quantock Hills. And I'd never even heard of them before. And yeah, it reminds me a lot of Dartmoor up here. Probably, obviously, they're both big moors, but it's beautiful. It's a lot more quiet up here, I think. It's a lot quieter. It's quite a bit more wild, I think. More barren. More barren, yes. And just here is River. River. So, so far we've had, what? So this is our second, it'll be our second night. There's a few squeaks here and there, isn't there? But nothing horrendous. Our solar system this morning, our new solar setup, smashed it this morning. <laughs> She's just staring. <laughs> She's staring at me for some reason. <laughs> She's listening intently She's to, listening the, to intently. the solar setup. She wants to know about She's... the solar setup. The solar setup absolutely smashed it this morning. I think we've got 500 and something up there. I can't remember off the top of my head now. But we were bringing in, what, I think it was about 350 watts. Absolutely killing it, especially in the cloud as well. So, happy, happy with that. Unfortunately here our microphone just couldn't handle the wind noise, but we reached the beacon which kind of looks like a pyramid. The views from here were spectacular and it was such a clear beautiful day, we could see all the way over to Wales. So when you go out on like the moorland of Bogbeck you might find this flower called cotton grass and they used to use it to stuff pillows and I believe in the First World War they used it to dress wounds as well. And Ben has never seen it before and it, it literally is soft like cotton wool. I'm just going to take one to show him. It's soft. It's like a rabbit's tail. I don't think you'll get it on camera. There's three red deer just running across the moors over there. Are they actual ponies? They look more like horses to me. So what have we got tonight? Ah, oh, ah, oh, right. We've got crispy tofu, but I found this garlic crusher. I saw it somewhere or something similar and I needed to have it because, you know, like the normal garlic crushers and it gets like caught inside and it's such a pain to clean. And these, you just wipe cleaner. So I'm going to try. Let's have a look. Oh God, maybe the other ones would be easier. <laughs> Is it a fail? No, you can try it. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Day two of van life. Yep. Day two of back in the van life. Day two of the proper shake it down. And got so far, touch wood, got no complaints. It's been good, hasn't it? Mm. Felt that Chalutska was. Uh... <laughs> this way. <laughs> they are certainly still here. There's the group table as it looks with England going through in first place. The team almost a full moon. Good morning guys, how are we all doing? We have woken up to the most stunning day. The sun is shining, it's warm. I was woken up at about half four by a river growling at some sheep. Just over there is the beacon that we climbed yesterday. 
very quiet road. Thought there might be some cars honking at six o'clock this morning, but it didn't happen. Chess said we literally woke up with a bit of a crowd and a machine. I think we've definitely started to find the river now. Mm. Don't you? Mm -hmm. Why are you so long? <laughs> Don't know. It's a javelin. Mm. I'm starting to feel like van life again. Mm. Like normal again, sorry. We have had a very productive work morning up here on Exmoor. It's been so nice to have an office with a view again. The sun is shining, the wind is a little bit chilly today but River's been enjoying watching the sheep, watching all the walkers go past. The car park has got a couple of cars in it now, but nothing too crazy. It is very peaceful and quiet up here. And I think this afternoon we're gonna move spots and hopefully go for a little walk around some woods. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just really enjoying taking it slow and just enjoying being back in the van. It's, it's nice that, like Exmoor's obviously completely different to Dartmoor. That. Obviously there's a few people up here, but it's like if this was back home, back in Dartmoor, it'd be rammed. But there's hardly anyone here. I like it. I like I like Exmoor. I've never never properly explored it. And I still don't think in this three days we'll properly explore it. We'll, no, we're just fair, in one little far, corner. Like right hand corner of it, aren't we? Yeah. And if we had more time, we could like do the, all the other side and everything, but we've got so much to like do and plan and like well, yeah. we've got my dentist stuff and we've got so many different places. <laughs> River's got the vets, we can't just stay here River's for ages. But I could happily stay on Dartmoor Exmoor for like two, three weeks just exploring. Oh easily. I think so. Yeah, let's move uh, about half a mile down the road. <laughs> This car park is huge and the views are absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure this is on park for night, but the signal here is zero. So unfortunately we can't stay, but it is absolutely stunning. There's loads of walks that come off from here, which is why we've come here today. Hopefully go and explore some of them. It's like you're like a, a tiny person. Like a what? It's like you're a borrower. Look at the size of the gate. <laughs> we are just walking through the little hamlet of Horner and it is the most quintessentially English village I think I've ever been to. There's just like these little single track lanes, little cottages, tea rooms. Everything is immaculate, everything is beautiful, surrounded by all these trees. It's right in the middle of a valley. It is just so pretty here. You can literally can't get any more English quaint. Really. No, it's beautiful. How big these pine trees are. They kind of remind me of the redwoods in California. They're huge. They are huge, actually, aren't they? Yeah, it's just fucking gorgeous. <laughs> oh, it's something out of Jurassic Park, isn't it? Yeah. The trees are absolutely huge. It's phenomenal. Amazing. What's happened? They clambered down here, didn't you? <laughs> right, come on. she didn't hurt herself. This way, come on. Right, see so how she gets back up. I bet she won't be able to get back up. Oh. Oh, got you, got you. <laughs> That's it. That is one tree with all of its trunks growing horizontal. Well, one's like, sorry, top of that way, and the other trees are growing up. Bit of a climb. Special for yesterday. Let's come up through this. It's getting a bit wild, isn't it? Sorry? It's getting a bit wild. It is getting a bit wild.
yesterday. That's where we walked to see the beacon. So we were just on the other side of that hill. The other beacon. We came down. That way. We're just walking through the most incredible oak forest. I don't think I've ever been through one that looks like this untouched. Like the, just the floor is just a carpet of green. There are ferns everywhere. The oaks are all like twisting. It's just like something from a fairy tale. It's absolutely beautiful. And I don't think it's overly accessible probably why it stayed so nice. This is just breathtaking. Hello! Oh wow! The bridge. the bridge back to the car park? Well done, baby. A well nice, done. relaxing woodland walk. All right, so we're back from our hike, and I think we're going to wrap up our little Exmoor road trip video here. It has been incredible it to has. be back in the van. It has been absolutely amazing to be back in the van and back into, or well, back living in the van. So yeah, I was yeah. a little bit nervous that it was kind of, I was just nervous about doing it again. We've not done it for like six months. I've been in the van for six months, and it has just been. It's well, been the, the best, hasn't it? It's like we've not been away. Yeah, it, so. exactly. And the new layout in Sophia, we're getting used to that. And yeah, very excited for more van life adventures to come. So please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe. And we shall catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye.